Rest in peace, Ozymandias, the original MLG gaming Shiba that started back on the Machinima respawn days. This is a sad video. I have to announce that after 14 and a half years, we had to put Ozzy down because he was getting old and sick. But instead of all this sad stuff up front, what I'd like to do is show you a highlight reel, a montage of all the amazing things that Ozzy did in his life and be uplifting. And then we'll have the adult conversation at the end. Hey everybody, this is Ozymandias here, and I'm here with... I'm, I'm here with... Uh, that would be Drifter, and I'm the one actually dressed appropriately and playing this game the way that I'm supposed to play it, stealthy, using my hacking skills and that sort of stuff. <laughs> What's he got in here? Oh yeah, just the cheese at the bottom. He's working for it, man. You're stupid, Ozzy. Don't look at me like that. Okay, normally, like, doggies eat, like, all cute, but he's probably just gonna chomp. <laughs> Ozzy? Easy? Uh-uh. Easy. He's still pretty hard. <laughs> he just... <laughs> so wait, you're hungry? <laughs> and you're hungry for dog food. <laughs> okay, let's get you some dinner, okay? Burger? <laughs> yeah. Are you hungry for dog food? <coughs> Ozzy, are you hungry? <coughs> Ozzy, do you want breakfast? If you ever wonder why some days it seems like it takes forever for me to start tweeting or streaming or working on videos, that's because Ozzy here is a huge scaredy cat when it comes to thunder, right buddy? Oh my god, you're like crying over here. It's doing like the smallest, saddest little bit of rain today, just a little thunder bumper. Barely even rumbling outside, and he has to come sit in my lap and sit here and shake. You guys may not be able to see it on camera, but he's like got the shakes right now. He's just going crazy. Hey Ozzy, hold, wait, wait, bonk. <laughs> check this out, bonk. <laughs> Ozzy, check it out, the snow. Thank you. 
Ozzy, my man. Is this what you want? Oh, is this what you want? Nope, I think I'll put this back over here. Mmm, bacon is delicious, right? Ozzy, what happened here? What happened here, buddy? Huh? Nothing's wrong, huh? You're not being a bad dog, are you, huh? Are you being a bad dog? Are you trying to eat what's in the bag? Is this dog food? Huh? How's he sit? Prairie dog. <laughs> prairie dog. What? You can't prairie. Spin. Spin. Spin, Ozzy. <laughs> You're a good boy. Come on, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slayer on domination, so that is exactly. Oh my god, move on over! Oh my god, hey everybody, this is Ozzy Man, he's here. You got like, you guys like Gamma Labs? I like Gamma Labs. Gamma, 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 Ozzie, Gamma, 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 yes. Okay, just, we're gonna take a step back and we're gonna slow it down and you're gonna say whatever the hell it is that you were about to say. Got no time to slow down, I'm on Gamma Lab! Mm, check you're out actually not supposed to have any Gamma Labs because caffeine and other stimulants is highly toxic to pets. Unless if you're an MLG pet, that's right. Unless if your pet is 100% MLG, as like me, then do not feed him this stuff, or it may melt his inside. Oh my god! Nah! Catch her! Nah! Quick! Nah! Hide the wife! Nah! Nah! There's a sniper in the room! Nah! Oh my god! Look out! It's on your foot! It's on your foot! There's a sniper on your foot! What are you doing, man? There's a sniper on your wife's foot! I'll take the shot! Oh, you think you're so cool, huh? Oh, okay, Mr. Sniper. Let's see how you can dance! Come on! I'm taking the bullet! I'll protect the house! You wanna catch it? Yeah, I'm gonna try and catch it! Damn it, woman! Look, right here. I'm aiming right for your freaking aortic capita right in... Damn it, get me off the leash! Okay, friend. Yeah, let it out eventually. Okay, okay, okay. Pull the mouse down here. <laughs> Man. Is that outside? You put it on your head, huh? Oh, well, it's okay, bud. There we go. Oh, well, you don't like it? What? You say it's a quality product? It tastes delicious? Oh, yeah, you like the USB 3.0 capabilities? And the zero stream delay? Oh, yeah, HDMI pass through tastes so good, doesn't it? Ozzy, what's in the box? Look. What's in it, buddy? Something scary. He hates cables. Five Guys Burger and fries. Look, that's been flattened a little bit, but ooh, he's a good boy. Yeah, that's a whoa. Let's maybe eat that on the table, and it's gone. Bye it's, bye. Can follow him quickly. Quickly, where's he gonna eat this at? I'm not following. He's decided that the uh, the floor is for dogs. Maybe I'll put this down here. Huh? How about that? How about I just eat all of this? We tried to film it all cute, buddy. Yeah, it's great. Good job, little Yum yum yum. Good boy. Yummy burger. Who's coming? <gasps> Ozzy, look, somebody's coming. Ozzy! Do you remember me? Do you remember me, Ozzy? Oh, oh my god! Ozzy! <laughs> oh, Ozzy! I haven't seen you so long! Ozzy, I know! <laughs> oh, Ozzy! Oh, 
Oh no, that's not a dog toy. That's not that's oh, a, that's a critical role collectible. Oh, no, it's uh, worth hundreds. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we got two puppuccinos here with little dog bones in them for two good boys. This is from Dutch Bros Bakery here in Texas. And hey, buddy. Hey, buddies. You hungry? Ozzy, are you hungry? I'm sorry things have to be this way, but here's a puppuccino for you. Who's a good boy? Oz man here's going in on it, bud. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Okay, so keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna give you one guess. What is it? You should take a look at something else he's got. I have to do this the right way. Jessica, I promise you all the best things that I can give you. Even ridiculous things like this. Will you marry me? Yeah, sure. Hey, Fuzz Bucket, you wanna look at me? Oh, now you see something. Oh, what is this? Hey, what is this? What is this in your face? Oh, look at my camera. Awesome. Awesome job. <laughs> Thanks, Laurie and Sharon. You've made a really sweet proposal for me. Okay. Whew. Boy, that was a trip down memory lane for me there. So let's, let's get to the beans of this. Unfortunately, this past Saturday, we had to lay Ozzy to rest. He uh, was put down peacefully, in my opinion, and he died uh, in my arms. We were holding him and comforting him all the way. And as sad as that is, and as hard as it is on me, I have to admit that Ozzy lived a great life for a dog. He ate a lot of great things. He traveled all over the United States, met tons of people. But most importantly, due to my position here on YouTube, Ozzy inadvertently, probably unknowingly, got a chance to be an influencer. When the dog passed and when I made the announcement and did the uh, Goodbye Ozzy stream over the next couple of days, not a handful, not dozens, not hundreds, not thousands, but tens of thousands of people reached out to me with very positive messages and stories about the dog about watching his content back in middle school, about Ozzy being the reason that they got a Shiba, or Ozzy being the reason they went to veterinary school, or Ozzy being the reason they found Machinima Respawn, or me, or a number of just extremely positive things, if nothing more than I just found the videos to be funny over the years, which is good because that's the goal. It was kind of like opposite day on the internet. The internet, more often than not, has a, has a bias toward negativity and toxicity and stuff like that, but Everybody was extremely supportive. I didn't see, actually, out of all of those thousands, I didn't see a single negative comment about the dog. And even people that weren't always so friendly were supportive. So that's that's a really, really good feeling. Looking back at Ozzy's life, he was a pre-Dog dog. Uh, I mean, he was a Shiba Inu before Dog meme even really took off. Ozzy was right there in the very early beginning phases of both Machinima and Machinima Respawn and was doing things with me, albeit with another voice actor, Tom, uh, playing the role of the dog in the early phases of developing commentary. And I used some of these skits and things to develop my own new speaking voice and public speaking skills. The dog was er 
involved in the very early phases of pet influencing. We had a variety of dog product sponsors and dog pages going up and uh, he was kind of in the first wave of that. And then just generally a gaming dog here on this channel and videos and skits and things. Uh, then Ozzy was able to participate in a variety of like Uber Eats promos, short form content, a ton, uh, just a ton of content around Dogecoin and Doge in general. He was in a video that got shared by Elon Musk and the dog lived a life, man. The dog really influenced people probably for the better. I don't think that you could ask for much more for a dog. I just, I'm a little sad that he doesn't have the ability to know how influential of a pet that he was. It's supposed to be about the dog, but I have to talk about me. It's been a very hard year this year for me. Most of you know the health problems and other things going on here. And um, uh, putting the dog down was kind of the cherry on top of this. And I still feel very, very guilty about it. Um, because this is his memorial video, it should be true. One of the reasons we chose to put him down was that he was no longer continent. Uh, I was cleaning somewhere between two to five poops and or pees off of the hardwood floors or carpets every single day. And I've got problems. My problems have problems. It was really hard for me to get on the floor and scrub that. And uh, we, we did that for about a year. Every single day on the floor scrubbing poo. The whole house smelled like awful. We're going around with black lights finding hidden stains. We had to seal them off to like three rooms only with hardwood floors. Every time there was a loud noise or a thunder or an explosion on the TV, pss, just sprayed all over everything. And uh, I put up with this for about a year. We tried to get him treatment. We tried everything in the book, but the reality was he was just getting too old. And I couldn't handle it anymore, nor could my wife. It was bad for our health. So I feel guilty that one of the reasons we put him down is that we could no longer scrub that after a year and some change. We were kind of done. And he did have health problems. Uh, the dog had a broken spine, very similar to my own, that was degenerating. Two bad hips, one bad leg itself. He had a skin condition. The dog was going blind. The dog was going deaf. He got weird doggy sundowners at nights and we get confused and walk in circles around the house and whine until somebody found him. Uh, he was just getting like crazier as he got older, unfortunately, and then the continents on top of all these other problems and a heart condition I almost forgot about. And the thing that makes me sad is logically you say, okay, maybe it's for the best. He poos and pees a lot and he's clearly going downhill, but it hurts because I don't think that Ozzy wanted to die. I'll go ahead and put some of his last pictures up on the screen here. I took these in the vet just for my memories. And you can see that he's still very happy and friendly and loving up until the end. He was annoyed to be at the vet. He had no idea he was there. And he could still walk. He could still get around and eat. He still enjoyed the company of others and pettings and love and attention. And while he was in pain, he wasn't in so much pain that he couldn't enjoy himself and have a great time. He could have had more time with me. I could have kept the dog alive longer and I don't think that it would have been cruel to him to do so. The problem was that he was about one step away, one accident, one slip and fall, one little ear infection, just one more domino from falling, from completely falling apart. Every system that he had was just kind of barely working and you can hear my justifications as I go through this. Uh, but it was just really hard because he wasn't totally down yet. We, we put him down before the suffering starts, which logically is the way to do this. But emotionally, what you would want to think about an animal's death is a release and not uh, an early send-off, which, I'm not going to cry, was very hard and it was uh, very taxing on me. I had to hold him because he was scared. He didn't like the needles in the vet. And uh, I could feel him going limp when the euthanasia did its thing. I could feel his breathing slow down and then stop and then the heart and I could feel his tongue and mouth go all loose. And it was a really hard one. We held him and comforted him all the way. It was the best thing to do for him. And uh, when he finally passed, he went fully limp, and that was a horrible feeling. But I would like to think that he was at peace. 
was he's been in so much back pain, mostly for a long time. He learned to deal with it, but he held his body really stiff all the time. Anytime you pet him, touch him, pick him up, he's stiff as a board. So it was really kind of weird for me to feel him finally relax and loosen up before he goes. And, um, yeah, it was really hard to see, really hard to let go. Uh, the dog's been with me for almost 15 years, almost 15 years of content and things here. And while the dog was not a child, I don't do the fur baby and dog daddy thing. I have to admit that given my current health conditions and genetic disorders, that that is probably the closest thing to a child that I will ever have. And at the very least, he was a family member. And uh, this is getting really sad, but I just wanted you all to know why we did what we did. And I wanted you to know that he had a good life. We did our absolute best to comfort him all the way up until the very, very end, even if it was hard for us. So we're laying to rest Ozzy, the original MLG Gaming Doge. I guess I'll see you someday, buddy.